Welcome to NECO 2022 number one physics experiment, procedural clamp the meter room, as you are seeing on this diagram on the side of the screen. You will be able to set it up, then carry out the instruction as you are seeing it here. Every instruction must be fully obeyed. But then, before then, let's look at some of the apparatuses given for the setup. A G clamp, a 2 meter rose, optical pin, mass hanger of 50 gram, 4 masses of 50 gram each, a beaker, water, plasticine, and retor stand. If there is not availability of any one of them, improvisation is always allowed for the smooth running of your experiment. Now look at the G-clamp where it is used. Look at the first meter row and second meter row, rate stand. Look at the weight, hang, and the bench. All these are set up as shown on this diagram. Now let's go to the lab to perform it. I look at the, 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 the G-clamp, I'm using it to fasten the meter rule so that it will project vertically from the edge of the bench. And then I'm going, to, according to the instruction given by me on this experiment, 90 cm mark should be projected outward from the edge of the bench, which I am doing. In place of no bench, you can use two, whatever you want to use provided the meter row project out. Well, then I'm going to use the clamp to hold the second meter row, hold it, and uh, it stretches vertically downward to the point where the projected meter row is projected so that the pointer can make a contact on the length for a depression. Now I'm using the mass hanger 50 gram together with the pin or the pointer to fasten it at 2 cm mark at the free end of the meter row so that it will be freely. And then I'm going to record the first mark or where the pointer is on the meter row. I'm going to record it, but then this is just a testing because your meter row, you have to make it come from zero end down. And these are the set of masses, 50 gram each, four, which was required according to the instruction or Neko white paper. So each of these masses um, has a 50 gram, and then there is a gap at the uh, on the on the mass. That gap is going to be used for slotting it. And this is the beaker filled with water, about three over four full of water of the beaker, so that we can ensure a full immersion, not um, partial, a total immersion. And the pin, and this is just how the experiment is set up according to the instruction and according to the diagram you are seeing on the side of the screen. Okay, now after a full inversion of my meter rule, then I realized that my first length of the horizontal meter rule with the pointer on the pointing on the vertical meter rule is 37. Uh, no, I'm going to use 37.8, I think. Okay, 37, 37, 37. So, um, I, don't, I don't think it really matters according to this one, but then depending on what they will be bringing. Now, that is, see where I slotted my mass, that tiny place on the mass hanger, you use the gap on your mass, on the set of masses to slot it in, and it will go down. Now, after the first mass was slotted in the mass hanger, you have to take your reading. Don't take reading when it is um, oscillating. Take reading when it is fully settled. You don't have to wait for it because of time. You just have to use your hand and make it rest to the minimum level at least. Then, after that, see my reading. I am seeing that... Uh, what? Can do the reading with me. Find your reading there. Uh, you, I'm going to cast the number on the screen for you to see. So then after that, okay.
Okay, I'm slotting my my mask again. Let me show you to get that place. I'm using my mask, my mask to slot through that gap. Using my mask to slot through this gap. I'm sorry, it's not a repeated um, experiment. Just trying to be sure. And then when you are doing the experiment, it's not everything they will tell you, but there are some major ones you can use your sense uh, in order to minimize error while you are doing your experiment. And this is a depression. The depression has occurred after hanging 50 gram mass. Then at that point, I am going to take my reading. And if you read with me, you see, see that this is about... 40, let's say, let this thing go steady. Okay, I think about, it's more than 40, that is, before 41, it's not up to 40, 41, it, it, like, let's say 30, 14, 8. <clears throat> then, whatever your reading is, you take your reading, record it on a book by the side, and that one now is what we are calling H. The, when you slotted your mass, you call it H. And now I'm going to immerse it. I'm going to ensure a full or total immersion. When there is a total immersion of the mass, the mass hanger, and the slotted 50 gram mass, and then ensure a full immersion, and use your head to make sure that the thing balances very well. Uh -huh. Then after that, you bend and don't stand up. This is one of the precautions, not just one of the precautions, many precautions. The first precaution is that you have to avoid parallax error while taking your reading on the meter room. Then another one is that you have to ensure that the, set, the masses are totally immersed. They shouldn't be touching any part of the beaker. They will be totally and freely immersed in the beaker filled with water. And then you take your reading. So when you take your reading, you can then do the subtraction saying X equal to H minus U. And then take your reading very well properly. Make sure you minimize error. Because if you don't, it doesn't matter who you are. If you, if you don't, you will have a kind of reading that is too out. And then in physics experiment, uh, there is no expert. You see based on the materials you have, but try as much as you can to minimize error by ensuring and um, ensuring again that what you are taking, the reading you are taking is correct. If not, you may have a particular um, value misbehave. So, uh, like, like, okay. Now, in this one, I'm seeing 40. That is 39. 42, when it is immersed in water now, what is immersed in water? That is 50 gram mass. When it is immersed in water, together with the mass anger, I'm seeing 42. I'm going to remove the, 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 the beaker of water. So when I remove the beaker of water, good, make sure you know it's glass, you don't need to um, rough handle it is a very careful experiment because of the glass. Then I will slot in another 50 gram. When I slot in, a new depression is occurred. So I'm going to be calling that one H2. It's not written in the method of procedure, but if the first 50 gram is H1, the second one has to be H2. So I have to bend down again to take my reading, but um, I have to zoom this for you to see. I have to record 100 gram is slotted. I will take my reading. Then after that, I will immerse in water. When I immerse it in water, I am going to take a reading again. I will bend down to check whatever the reading is. Oh, I beg, I hope I'm not doing parallax error too. I have to bend down, go to go down low, go down low to the level, but um, experience can help also. And to take your reading when the 100 gram mass is immersed in water, you need to be careful to reduce error. 
make sure that um, your 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 experiment is going and okay. I wanted to see as well. That is forty two point six. When hundred grammas was fully immersed in water, I am seeing that is you are seeing with me forty two point six. Forty two point six. Uh, okay. Hmm. Now remove the water, the water and the beaker. So the next thing you are going to do is to remember that when you are doing this experiment, the more you are hanging more masses, the the, the meter root and the hanger will be going down more low, and as a result, the pointer is shifting far away from the vertical meter root. So as a common experience, what you have to do is to bring it more closer to the pointer so that the mark will be pure. I'm going to slot um, 150 mass, the next, the next 50 gram mass, I'm going to slot it. I will have to take my reading. I have to take my reading. This experiment shouldn't take more than, let's say, shouldn't take more than 10 min 15 minutes maximum. So I recorded, then I now put my dryer. If you have anything about this experiment, you can comment and ask questions. I have to put water, immerse into water, be careful. Don't allow the mass to leave wherever it is and then heat on the glass and the glass will break and the water will spill out or maybe on your white paper and don't. I'm holding it hand. Do you know why? I want the mass to be fully immersed. I don't want the mass to touch anywhere or anything to touch the peak. I want it to feel immersed. So if I'm placing it on that and I'm using, I realize that some part of the mass is touching. So I remove it and hold it with my hand so that nothing will be touching the mass when it is inside water. It should be fully immersed. I am touching, do you know why I'm touching it? To ensure that the water, the, the mass is fully immersed, not hanging on the surface of water. You will not really have the exact um, weight or depression when immersed. So you need to ensure a full immersion. If, if not, your experiment will, will not really be very, very good. And then you may have a value which is far away from the expected value from the experiment. So that is what I am trying to do to ensure that it is fully immersed. So in your experiment, you have to try as much as you can to minimize error in order to have a very good result. That is why at the end of every experiment, they will ask you to, to state your precautions. So I'm hanging the 50 gram mass. Yes, when I hung my 50 gram mass, I realized that the pointer is touching my, my beaker. I have to shift it from that place so that it will not touch any part of the beaker and then the um, a, more depression has caused the vertical meter root to be a little far away from the pointer from the horizontal meter root. so what i did was to shift it closer so that i can have a better reading okay uh, after this what am i going to do i am going to remove my beaker uh, i think the experiment is done i'm going to do my recording please ignore that new I'm going to do my recording. After my recording, I'm also trying to hold it so that it will not be dangling or oscillating so that I will take my reading when it is not immersed in water. So after all this, I will now just go and plot the graph. And I have to tablet my reading, remember. And I'm going to show you a table of values which we are going to plot according to the instruction. Thank you.